Welcome to this video which takes a look at how you can find bandwidth hogs on your network. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netforge. I'm not logged on to my LAN Guardian. First place to go to troubleshoot a bandwidth problem, we'll just get in a general overview, so click on dashboards and select the first dashboard which is bandwidth activity. The range of elements on this dashboard, we've got a trend here showing total traffic being picked up by the sensors. Got a breakdown of what the top applications, protocols, top servers, got top users here if you've got Active Directory enabled, top departments. So if you're looking for who are the top users, you should see here in this element with the option to drill down. So Danny Nolan here, customer support, we could drill down on this. Or also you can click on the peaks and the graphs and drill down. Let's click on this user's activity. You can see that it's mostly web traffic. Drill down on that again. So every time you see a blue link, that gives you the option to drill down to get more data. He connected, looks like, to a local web server. And as you drill down, you can get further detail. You get the exact date and time when these connections occurred. Another way to locate bandwidth hogs in your network is to go to a reports menu. Select the first option here, or through the IP reports, click on more. And you've got a full range of IP type reports. So good ones to use here would be, for example, top users or top clients. So you can click on that. Then you can change the time period that you're selecting. So by default, it looks at one hour. But you can click the clock symbol here and pick any time period you want. Maybe you want to look at something that happened days or weeks ago. Just select whatever time period you want, press view. And this will then show you who are the top clients on your network at the t for the time you select it. So again, you have the option to drill down and find out more. If you want to troubleshoot a WAN problem, so it's not a general LAN, you want to focus in a particular connection on your wide area network, go to our search page, just click on search. And in the bandwidth troubleshooting section, Put in the IP range associated with the remote location. So in my case, 192.168.00 slash 16. That's the format you use. Press go. Again, you have the time options up here to select a custom one or just drill down or select a drop down and pick one of our defaults. So this shows us the traffic profile for this site. It shows us the total traffic, the top applications, the top talkers. So these are the machines or the clients that are hogging the bandwidth on this link with the option to drill down. We've top web conversations, proxy, file names being copied up and down, also what websites based on the number of hits. So on one screen you can see what applications and what clients are hugging the bandwidth on your WAN links. Finally if you want to focus in on a user, maybe you suspect like Danny is hogging a lot of bandwidth on your network, you can focus in on, on a particular username. So again you go back to the search page and in Network Forensics, you put in their username. So I can type in Danny, just select them then, press go. So this will show the traffic profile for this user. So we do know they generate a lot of traffic on our network. So we can see the web and other traffic here. We can also see any security events the user's triggering. So it looks like they're using eDonkey or peer-to-peer -peer type application, what machines he's logging on to, websites, even what files they're accessing on Windows file shares. So if you want to troubleshoot a focus in on a user, just use our search page. If you don't have Atlant Guardian installed on your network, you can download a free trial from www.netforge.com. You can follow the on-screen instructions or we also have an install video available. Then set up a port mirroring or a span port. And then you have traffic monitoring in place. If you have Land Guardian set up in your network and you've got some question about the installation or its use, please contact us at support at and we also have a chat facility on our website.